Ahau. Zhang Zui Gabo, Chen Kantas, Hagamin Kang. Uh, standing out in the open on the shoreline. My name is Hugh McKenzie, this is the residence. And uh, on Bear Island, and I'd like to say Jimmy Glitch to everyone for this chance to express my my desires and feelings about my artwork and uh, a lot of issues that came up during my my recovery. I'm uh, very uh, fortunate to have this my artwork as my support and my music. I didn't really understand what recovery is until, until I started giving away to the youth. And I've been doing my art classes and my music with uh, Northeastern Ontario High Schools, Timmins, Erica Falls. And uh, of course the isolated villages need villages. And I, I'm glad to say by giving it away this was my recovery. So at this time I'm very fortunate. I'm glad to say my art is successful and I'm pretty healthy and I'm it's ongoing. So I hope to see everyone that has has the time to look at my artwork. And Jimmy Glitch and welcome to the shoreline of Lake Tamagami. Hello, my name is David Larone. I'm a singer-songwriter musician from that uh, lives on Lake Tawangami. Uh, it's a large lake in northern Ontario, and uh, I go back there to be grounded and uh, write my songs. Um, so my last album, I Know I Can Fly, it was all about uh, going back to basics and uh, feeling um, maybe what the ancestors felt thousands of years ago as I sit on the lake shore and think about the wind and the wave actions and uh, all the birds flying by and everything. But those, that's an uh, environment around me to write this song, so I, I'd like to do one for you. Uh, my music is, uh, I think it has a lot of healing power because this album is all about empowering the spirit to be free, to lift, be lighter or feel lighter. So I think uh, it's what's needed today in today's society is to lighten things up a little bit and uh, just appreciate the simple things in life. So I'd like to do one of those songs for you right now. It's the title track called I Know I Can Fly.
My name is Diane Larone, resident, lifelong resident of Tomogamy. I began my leather craft, beading, and many other crafts about uh, 12 years ago. Uh, I had an extraordinary teacher, Linda McEwen, and it just seemed to take off from there. Uh, many of my products have gone into the States, uh, have gone into Europe, uh, as well as many local uh, purchases as well. Um, beading is a art to me that relaxes you, uh, takes you to places in your mind, of memories, dreams, family, love, and it's just a good way to spend time. I hope people who have seen my work and wear my work are thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, I've had many positive comments about it, and I hope today just proves how enjoyable this is to me and how much I appreciate knowing how to do it. It's in a very enjoyable pastime. Um, I spend a lot of time here at my dining room table and not as much time in the kitchen as I should. <laughs> spend many hours in the daytime working on one project or another. It just brings back so many memories to your mind. When your hands are busy and it's quiet, silence surrounding you, one of my favorite pastimes indeed. Good afternoon. My name is uh, Dwayne Paul. I'm from Kumanasing, Bear Island. My native name is uh, Ajea. It's a name my grandmother gave me. And it means um, now is the future. The song I want to do for you today is, um, I wrote about the, um, about the healing of um, victims, I should say survivors of the uh, residential school, and healing of um, all things uh, affecting us in our lives today, including illnesses. So it's a message about healing for all nations and residential school survivors. Miigwech.
style matters.